Welcome to the Griffin Real Estate Market Update. I'm Danny Griffin. If you're thinking about buying or selling residential property now or in the near future, it's very important to stay up with the local market trends. Now, according to MLS PIN, the marketplace for Beacon Hill residential properties, here's what happened in the second quarter of 2023 versus the second quarter of 2022 last year. The number of sold listings decreased by 48% to only 34 properties sold with a top sale of 11.9 million at 75 Beacon Street, number two in Beacon Hill. The average sales price decreased by 27% to $1.71 million and the average price per square foot decreased by 4% to $1,261 per square foot. The inventory of properties available for sale as measured in month supply increased slightly by 1% to 3.34 months worth of properties for sale. The average 30-year fixed mortgage rate increased year over year by 17% to an average rate of 6.84% according to bankrate.com. Now it's important to go back to that inventory number and really compare it to its sister area, the back bay. The Back Bay is running at nearly five months worth of inventory versus Beacon Hill, which is running at 3.3, really closer to three. So there's a significant difference in available inventory. Of course, geographically and density wise, the Back Bay is bigger, but typically they, they run side by side and that's not the case. So really, if you're thinking about selling your Back Bay property, um, it, it's a little bit more difficult than it would be in Beacon Hill, but again, in a market that's decreasing, pricing it right and being prepared properly is everything. So you want to make sure that you seek the guidance of a local real estate professional so you can really fine tune your strategy. And of course, we'll be back next month with the Griffin Real Estate Market Update. Thanks for tuning in.